Two years ago, I was trapped in the closet. There was no light, no air for me to breathe. There was no water to quench my thirst, and there was no food for thought upon which to feed. My soul was on empty, to say the least, and I was just about ready to go and give up on hope. When a figment fell against me, and he began to speak, and he told me to call him Dr. Cope. He said, The funny thing about your situation, Johnny, and it's not very uncommon at all. Is that it's self-inflicted, and I can open this closet door just as soon as you decide to call. But it is you who have chosen to stay here because of your repression, your guilt, and your fear. You have to make yourself understand that things won't get better as long as you sit your ass here. You see, you possess a unique talent that expands far past the borders of what is commonly accepted. You've been called weird, outlandish, obscene, extreme, and you didn't like it, so you repressed it. You made futile attempts at making a living by doing something that is clearly not meant for you. While your passion fights but slowly dies, crying and begging for you to make a move. We are granted but a limited amount of time here, John, and yours runs out as the ink leaves the pen. You said that you were miserable, so if you don't want to leave now, then favor me when. Man, I leaned against the back wall of the closet with all sorts of thoughts running here and there through my head. I made up my mind, grabbed my nuts, cleared my throat, took a deep breath, and then I said, me out on that. They asked for honesty, but I gave them all of me, and somehow, man, between here and there, I found out, man, that I was everywhere, I saw myself, lost myself, found myself, found myself, and I ain't been back since that day, don't look for me. trip with me gonna take you further than the corner store for condoms you see it's not just the rigor and roll but a sickening flow designed to lift the willing mind from the humdrums and explain to you dear listener where i come from my desire fire motivation my skill and my thing that make me get it on till it's gone jumping and shaking like dry bones every time the beat bang and the sweet thing dig this i don't claim to tell anybody anything they don't already know i just make myself kin to the music get into the music and then let it go what comes out is simply incredible, yet credible, and I love it because it's all mine. But when you grind for this long, it's a given that time will change your flow to wine. No need to be afraid, though. It's just a candy coop to build in my thought process, if you will. And that thing shine like new money is sweeter than honey, and it's more tempting than a damn pile of pills. So go and grip the grain and get the feel. Lean in the leather for a while and chill. If you don't get it right off, just groove and trust me, and I promise eventually you will. And if you don't, well, that's cooler than a pool, too, because it just tickled yeah. me to do music, yeah. dude. And in due time, I will find my audience that my sound does make them do the fool. <laughs> Until then, you can catch me in the wind and a heavy-ass Chevy trying to breathe again. Looking for the light and evolving every night and allowing myself to change seasons again. Yo, state.